Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps our channel grow, but it helps you too, because you'll be notified every time we upload a video or go live. We love our friends and family, but some of them can be a hazard to our financial health. Have you ever taken the time to consider the impact these people have on your finances? It's possible you may not have noticed the negative impact people in your life are having on your purse. You might need to have some tough conversations or use your wits to deal with these assaults on your budding wealth. But no one ever said becoming debt free, cashed up was easy. You're not being mean, you're being a good steward of your money, time and energy. Be on the lookout for these people in your lives. The struggling businessman or woman, the struggling entrepreneur. This person is full of great ideas that seem worthy of just a small investment. Now, unfortunately, having great ideas and executing them so they make a profit are very different skills. Avoid investing money that you're unlikely to see again. If you can't afford to burn it, you can't afford to invest it in something dubious, and that includes the stock market. The solution? Let the future Donald Trump know that you're uncomfortable investing in a business that isn't even off the ground yet or isn't turning a profit. Number two, we all have these people in our lives, the partier. The partier barely needs an excuse to celebrate. You know, cleaning out the fridge to them is a good enough reason to uh, head out on the, the town and drag you along for the ride. Just a couple of drinks, just a dinner, just a meal, doesn't matter. The solution? Show up for the celebration, but keep your expenditure limited to a soft drink. Most places, often these days, will re, um, supply a free uh, soft drink. So you don't even need to, you know, your refills are free. Another alternative is, you know, my favourite. Thanks, but no thanks. Just say no. The charity case. Again, most of us have these people in our lives too. This person, they're constantly collecting money for worthy causes. Could be he's climbing Mount Everest to save the antelope and needs a dollar for every vertical foot of ascent. Good for him. You can't afford that. So the solution is, if you don't have the money for the cause, offer to assist with your time. Or just say, I'm sorry, we can't contribute to every cause. We support other charities. I'm not saying don't support charity. I'm all for that and we do it. But we pick and choose and we support the charities that are close to our own heart and you should support the charities that are close to your own heart and just say no to the rest. The fancy gift giver. We all have these people in our lives too. Look, most of us exchange presents of a moderate value with our friends and family. And then there's the person who goes overboard and they just spend way too much money, whether they can afford it or not. So by way of guilt, we feel that we are forced to reciprocate and that just blows our gift giving budget right out of the water. One gift can use it all. So the Solutions, either suggest the dollar amount limit or let them know that you're uncomfortable with such extravagant gifts or simply be confident that the gift that you choose for them is appropriate, they will love it and the dollar value and the actual cost is irrelevant. Number five is the encourager. <laughs> what can I say? Have you ever been torn between the option of spending a lot of money on an item 
and keeping the money in your bank. I'm pretty sure most of us have. The encourager. Oh, look, they're always there. They always seem to be able to talk you into buying that pair of shoes or that dress or going away for that weekend, even though you can't afford it and you don't need them. All the time, they think they're doing you a big favour. The solution is keep your shopping dilemmas to yourself. Don't share them. The wealthy friend is number six. Now, your budget might call for a DVD and a frozen pizza on a Saturday night, but the wealthy friend, well, they don't want any part of that frugality. They like to go to the expensive wine bar and they like to eat the fancy sushi that runs to $200 a serve. And it can be embarrassing to say no all the time. So this is where you just suck it up and you be honest and you let your friend know that her tastes are simply out of your budget. You might like to come up and invite them for a DVD and perhaps you can get takeaway pizza instead of the frozen one. But just be honest and say you can't afford to do that and you don't really like sushi anyway. Number seven, the moocher. This is the person that eats the food out of your refrigerator, borrows your tools and never brings them back, always seems to need five dollars when you're out because they've left their wallet behind they have a way of never paying for anything so just say no just say no you don't have a spare five dollars they can't borrow your tools um you don't have food in the fridge to spare because your meal planning down to the exact number of serves you need each meal just say no and they will stop mooching off you and they'll move on to someone else probably. But the key to dealing with all of these people is communication. It can be, um, it can be humiliating if you let it be that way. In every instance, you can choose to let the person know that you either don't have the money to spend or that you would prefer to um, keep your money in your bank account. The conversation might be awkward, but the awkwardness is over quickly. True friends will understand. So avoid allowing your friends and family to drag down your finances. Stick up for yourself and be in charge of your money. Be confident that you are doing the right thing for you and your family in your situation. You don't need to spend money to have fun. You don't need to spend money to be charitable. You don't need to invest in someone's up and coming widget business to be successful. You are all those things in your own right right now. So have the confidence in yourself that you are doing what is right for you. Okay, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and click the bell and select how often you'd like to be notified of um, new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, it helps our channel grow and to be recognised more easily and the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone, and have a great day.